Good day, everyone. So a while back, you watched me sculpt this lion, and I think it's time to turn this into bronze. Now, the first thing I have to do is make a mold. Before I do that, I really have to plan ahead on how the wax is gonna flow into this, how it's gonna flow into small digits like that, because if I screw that up, it's gonna be a pain. So I don't wanna screw it up, gotta plan ahead. Let's go back to that little place where we used to go in the summer days. We dip our feet at the water's edge and everyone would come along to meet us there. competition to see who can travel longer cause every year my body's getting stronger we can swim all day and dance until the night but we're not coming home till the moonlight shines till the moonlight shines so i have to look at this and think i'm gonna be pouring the wax in this way every high point needs to be vented all the feet are vented all the claws should have enough vents i'm gonna need a vent here at the chin and i'm gonna need a vent here at the tail Let's go back to that little place where we used to go in the summer days. The lodge by the water still my favorite place. I think I have everything the way it needs to be. The wax is going to come down this sprue and every foot and tail and the chin, they're all vented so there shouldn't be any bubbles forming. And I think I have it situated so I can get by with a two-piece mold and it's not gonna get stuck when I pour the wax. I think it's time to just mix up the silicone and give it a try. the truth. So it looks pretty good, but there's these little stringers. So I gotta go through and cut all those off before I pour the next layer. I got it cleaned up, we're gonna pour the other side, but I built up the side walls because it might be a little too thin and when I put it in the vacuum chamber, it's gonna expand a lot. So hopefully the side walls will contain everything in it. I'll add mold release liberally.
go. Two piece lion mold. I guess we better see how it works though. Let's see if this was a waste of time or if it worked. Well, that seems to have worked beautifully. It's a few bubbles. We'll get those chased out. There you go, a lion mold. Now, definitely not a master. I'm not trying to teach you how to do it. I'm just showing you how I did it. This is only the second animal mold that I've made, so I'm sure there are better ways, but it worked. So we're gonna take this and end up casting it in bronze. So if you wanna see those videos, Hit the subscribe button, follow the channel. We do different sculptings and casting projects, and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.